Hello, it's me. I've been wondering if after all these days you'd like to meet, you know? Anyway, hello, we're back. Today is Saturday and it is April 4th. It's been a while. Um, I tried starting a vlog like twice or like starting one and then continuing one twice in the last, I don't know how long it's been. Um, so if I got any footage worth using, I will put it in here. Hello and welcome to day three of trying to find good lighting in the theater. Actually, I have no idea what day it is, but I was editing vlogs last night and there was at least two days where I was like, ah. Anyway, I am at work. It is Sunday. It is just before nine. I decided to sleep in a little bit because normally when I do work, I like to come in at eight because then the day is done and out of the way. But I discussed this recently. I'm like, hey, let's go to sleep at two. And then I'm like, hey, that's awesome. And then my brain's like, no, you work tomorrow. And it's like, but two. And then last night, I was like, okay, I need to stop going to sleep at two. And then Brain was like, okay, but how about three? So I don't think I got to sleep until somewhere close to three last night, which is terrible. So there might need to be a nap today, or at least the promise that at like 10 o'clock or something, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna go into bed. I'm gonna watch a movie. And even if I don't like fall asleep immediately, not picking up a phone, not doing anything. So that is the hope for today. I did have a super productive day yesterday, so like I'm not too, too concerned about things. Like I think I edited four vlogs total, which is impressive, but also terrible that I had four vlogs to edit, but it's cool. I think I have one more besides this one, but we're catching up. So plan for today is to work for like four to five hours. I haven't decided yet. Go home and definitely do laundry. I think that's about it. I did a lot yesterday. Like I even did invoicing. So like I could do nothing today once I get home from work. And I don't think I'd feel bad about it. <laughs> so that's where we're at. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink, watch a YouTube video to wake up, and then be ready and set to start at nine. Alrighty, so I am back home now. And yes, after having my hair in braids for like two days, we, we good. Anyways, I only worked for four hours because I got bored. It's like... I think I mentioned it the other day, like I have a few things left from my list that I need to do, but I'm almost out of that stuff. And yeah, I have like weekly tasks I need to accomplish too in this time, but next I think I'm just basically onto painting. So I kind of gotta wait. I'm probably gonna maybe go in tomorrow. I don't know. I guess it'll depend on if I hear if our tech assistant tech director is going in or not, cause he's gonna show me his ways of painting so we'll see but I'm home now it is just after one I'm gonna make myself some lunch I think today I have to do laundry because it is a bad situation <laughs> and other than that I'm not really sure like I was mentioning earlier today I was super productive yesterday so I might do nothing I also alternatively I might work on my Harry Potter fan fiction because I have been living for that lately <laughs> and um I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, that's where we're at. I need food, so I'm gonna go and I'll check in with you along the way. <laughs> Why did I whisper like a creep? It is almost nine o'clock and honestly, I have not done anything today. I mean, it worked, but I came home. I haven't even made my bed. I laid in it a lot. My laundry is ready to go to the laundry, but mm -mm. <laughs> I am going to start painting at work this week and because I haven't painted, there before i'm sure i mentioned it i need to know things and so i reached out to my dude and he never texted me back to say that he was coming in tomorrow so i ain't coming in tomorrow i'm gonna sleep in and i think i'm gonna bake bread and do my laundry it's <laughs> it's over there beside my pile my hoard of beverages so that is the plan for tomorrow today there is really not much going on I might climb into bed and put on a movie or something. I've just been browsing Netflix, but there's really nothing that's like really sticking out to me. So the struggle is real, but I do need to get a good night's sleep tonight because I have not been sleeping the greatest because I've been staying up to like two and three in the morning, which is bad. <laughs> um, so hopefully I can get to sleep early tonight, although like I'm not at all tired at all right now. So I don't even know. I've also started chipping off nail polish again. These two nails and then <laughs> these three 
I'm the worst. I mean, it's good that I have a base coat on it because then it comes up very easily, but why? Anyways, I'm going to go now and I don't know why I'm like, <laughs> considering I haven't done anything today, I'm just going to keep vlogging again tomorrow where hopefully something, anything <laughs> will happen. So good night for now. Good morning. Here is my lunch slash breakfast, just some onions and hash browns and leftover steak. I'm watching some YouTube and I'm chilling by myself. <laughs> my mom just had to go out and do a shop this morning like she does um, for tugboats. I've mentioned it before and there was a free item which was a turkey. So we have another turkey. <laughs> we just finally got rid of our last turkey. So that's fun. But we were just talking about we need to meal prep. We've been meal prepping or not prepping, meal planning this week. And so we're planned up until Friday. But then I think we need to kind of assess what we have. And one of the things we have isn't back to turkey <laughs> so we'll go from there I suppose I'm just gonna eat now and then I was gonna bake bread today but my mom's making a roast and there's not enough time for me to bake the bread and for her to get the roast in on time so oh, what a shame <laughs> we do have some frozen loaves that we've had forever in the freezers and it'll take it'll clear up space we may as well do that so my only real thing that I absolutely want to do today is laundry and it's not a want it's a need but this is where we're at now. I'm going to eat and then we'll see where the day takes us. It is beautiful and sunny. Last night it was stormy and pouring rain, um, so it's a nice change. <laughs> well, my laundry is done, so that is exciting. It is like 20 to 3 and that's all I've done. <laughs> Honestly, it's all I've done. I think my plans for the rest of the day, geez, how like... Oh. I'm so disappointed with myself for doing nothing. Um, I think my plans for the day are going to be like make my bed obviously, fold and put away my laundry because that's the thing that I'm pretty negligent on. And then maybe, just maybe, have this notebook. And this is the notebook that I use to like plan things. Why are you stuck together? So like in this notebook has all my characters that I've oh right because I was thinking about doing a different book anyways so I basically go and I write down the characters that I want to plan it's not focusing oh well um, I write down the characters and the places that I want to plan out and then I go from there oh sweet haha -ha. I do have a page for the story that I'm gonna start working on and then I go through and I color code things because I am a color coder so purple is people, blue is buildings, aka places, and then yellow and stuff are like important things. So I think, whoa, but now I can't do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think what I'm gonna do today is plan out all the places and the people that I wanna start creating for the story, but I've already done it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, maybe I'll go through that again and, um, see if there's anything else I need to add. It looked like a really comprehensive list though, probably more comprehensive than what I was planning because when I was laying in bed last night I was like I could do this and I could do this and I could do this. But yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna make my bed now. I'm lying, there's probably a good chance I won't immediately make my bed, but it's the next thing on the box. I don't even know man, it started hailing like crazy. It was so sunny this morning. And then it started raining a bit and then it started hailing and then it really started hailing and now it looks like the sun's coming back up a little bit again which is nice but I was thinking like maybe I was gonna go for a walk today maybe and now I'm like mm -mm, mm -mm, you win I will stay inside it's fine <laughs> okay so like <laughs> it's 20 to 12 uh I also have to work tomorrow so I have to be up early but I did finally make my bed I can attest to that I folded all my clothes except for the ones that hang. They did not put them away. They're all just back in the hamper, but in better shape. Actually, you know what? Other than my sweatpants, because I was too lazy and didn't open my closet, I did put everything else away. But I was in the shower and I was thinking, because that's what I do in the shower. So I was showing you earlier that I have this, my, my plots and thoughts. <laughs> And so there's two books that I started to plan in the summer in Blind Channel because I couldn't decide which one I want to do. I start it with this one, which is 
very relevant to the times we're in right now, like too relevant. I was, is it this notebook? No, it's one of the notebooks over there. Anyways, I was just reading some of my planning notes from one of the notebooks and I was like, ah, quarantine. Ah. <laughs> and it was like quarantine days and, and like, yeah, too, too soon. Anyways, so that's one of the stories. Um, and then the other one is completely different and it's one that I've actually written a lot of, I think. I'll have to check on my computer, but I'll check later. And I did actually a lot of planning on it. Like, let me look at it. Oh my goodness. I'm also going to sneeze. But like that many pages. I don't even know how to sh focus on this. But like that many pages are of planning characters and places and stuff. Which is kind of a lot. And it's like, looks pretty in depth. I haven't read it yet. So that story though, I feel like is more of a throwaway. So I'm like, should I write this and maybe like throw it up on Amazon and see what the heck happens uh, before I dive into this one that is, like I said, a little bit too soon. But anyway, so I pulled out the notebooks for the second story that I was talking about. So I've got one here and one here. Oh no, I think <laughs> this one. Ow. <laughs> this one is where I will plan acts and book and plots and everything. Um, and then this one is one that I think I've written like a fair amount, a fair amount in. I think I have most of it on my computer. I'm sure I probably have another text, textbook notebook somewhere with it. So I'm putting that there because I want to think about that. And then alternatively over here, I have like a lot of, a little bit, a little bit of planning. Um, and do I have anything in here? Just the title, but this is very apt <laughs> for the story. So anyways, I'm gonna do some thinking because like that one is like a really big story and it's like a lot and I don't know if I wanna get into that right now. So I might go a different way that is completely different and a lot of fun and my battery's gonna die. One second. Yeah, so basically maybe tomorrow I'm gonna go through kind of everything that I have and check my computer and see what I have on my computer for both stories. I don't think I have a lot for, well, so I'm just like in like full on confessional mode, I don't chat mode. Um, the one story, it was one of the uh, stories that I used for a project for my video game writing class that I was doing. And so I actually have like a, a one pager for it and I've got like a nine page document for it too, I think. Like, and I've got a couple places and characters fully planned out, pretty much fully planned out. So yeah, I just need to go through and kind of see what I have for everything. I did realize that I need to get a label maker. I've wanted to get a label maker forever, but I just couldn't justify it. But oh my goodness, I had to go through so many notebooks trying to like find them, like trying to find everything. Like, so right here, it's like eight or nine black notebooks. Thank you. I'm so useful for buying the same color. And like over there, similar notebooks too. And like everywhere basically. So like every notebook, I had to open it up and like flip to a page and some of them weren't the first page. And then I had to read until I found a name and they'd be like, okay. This one, by the way, is called Growing Up Slytherin. <laughs> So I'm sure I've mentioned it a million times before, but I wrote a Harry Potter fi fan fiction um, from my first year of university <laughs> until well past it. And, um, and then I decided I wanted to work on a fan fiction again. And I didn't want to do that one because I killed my main character off. But that one started in like the summer before sixth year. So this is me just starting the character <laughs> in first year. <laughs> so I came across this and I was like, hmm. I kind of want to read this because when I've been mentioning my fan fiction lately, I've been taking the actual, the one from the sixth summer before sixth year and like rewriting it entirely. Just, you know, just to keep my writing skills up and to um, do something with my life. <laughs> but like, this is like 180 pages. Like, that's a lot of words. Um, I'm pretty sure I like basically only got to like, the sorting. 
because I like started it before in like the summer before and like <laughs> like a couple I'm very verb I can be very verbose and something like a fan fiction lets me do that like that's like half this book anyway <laughs> I'm just rambling now I think I want to read this but what I was saying is I need to get a label maker so I can just put what stories are in each book because that just makes sense so staples I'm coming for you <laughs> I actually checked to see if I could make a custom puzzle through staples and I can just not in these times so that doesn't really help me but yeah so I'm gonna curl up into bed with this <laughs> 180 pages handwritten handwritten <laughs> so I'm gonna curl up with this for a while I guess and read before I go to bed instead of reading Lord of the Rings because why would I read Lord of the Rings oh I'm just we're just we're just living it today I did nothing and now obviously when it's time to go to bed I'm like hi I'm awake so I was bored earlier I said I was gonna make my bed right well I laid down in my bed for like three hours I put on the Lord of the Rings with the cast commentary uh the first one and I was just making me so mad um and so then I was like okay I'm gonna start reading the book and then it was time for dinner and then I came back into my room like okay I'm gonna make my bed now several hours later and a couple episodes of Tiger King so now we are at like I said now it's like 10 to 12 and I have been rambling forever and I just really just want to read this and I am not tired at all and I have to be up like before 7 tomorrow yeah so with that I'm gonna go also hey you know I still have to edit my intro for April I've gathered some ideas of like where clips where clips I can take from that was not great English but that's fine but I haven't picked a song I haven't started cutting things down so and tomorrow is the 31st I think I think <laughs> yeah tomorrow's the 31st at least the nice thing is is I still have two vlogs to go up from March at least <laughs> Also, I'm so off of a timeline. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Thanks for coming along today. It's been a riot. <laughs> Good night. The lighting saga continues and this red painting over here is just doing the most <laughs> with its <laughs> color projection. I changed, I tried changing the settings, but it is what it is. Anyways, hello, welcome. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> I think I'm going to be the only person in the theater until about quarter to 12 because that's when the box office opens at 12. Um, but who knows? It's always a surprise. I do know that at least one of the tech guys isn't coming in because I was supposed to touch base with him about painting. Um, <laughs> but he's realized he's a larger risk, health risk. So He's just going to stay home a little bit more, which is fine. I was like, listen, I can call you and you can like walk me through where all the paint is and whatever your technique is for painting. So yeah, that's where we're at. It is seven o'clock. <laughs> so I think I mentioned yesterday that my mom had to work this morning and her boyfriend is also at work because they are essential workers. I still don't know how I'm managing to pull off still having a job, but we're going with it. So I'm again, don't want to take the bus. So I'm going to be here until at least 2.33, somewhere around there. I thought about bringing a blanket so I could have a nap when I didn't want to work anymore, but instead I brought Lord of the Rings. Also, the noises I was making, have you seen, what book is it? It's Chamber of Secrets, what <laughs> book? If you've seen a book, if you've seen the movie Chamber of Secrets, no, it's not Chamber of Secrets. It is Half-Blood Prince, when Slughorn is there. And, and like one of the funniest things in that movie is when Harry's like talking about Spider, he's like, <laughs> it's just like the funniest thing ever to me. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm just in a rambling mood. I was rambling last night and I am rambling today. I want to share the fact that I did start reading my old but newer Harry Potter fan fiction. And I was like, I hate this. And part of so like, I hate my old Harry Potter fan fiction now because I've completely changed as a person. And I'm like, no. And that was kind of how I felt when I started writing this other one, but that was still a couple of years ago. So I've changed as a person since then. So like my new reboot of the first one, <laughs> 
it's like I'm taking a lot of ideas and thoughts that I came up with here, but the tone is completely different. And so I'm like, frick, now I hate you too. So anyways, it's probably a good thing because otherwise I might have stayed up to like three in the morning and be like, ah, they're reading. I like the books. So anyways, that's where we're at. Still haven't made a decision on which book to pursue going forward, but I think I'm going to do that later today. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to go have a breakfast drink and then start doing that work thing that I am appreciating that I have. Last time I showered, I braided my hair and it had cute waves in it and stuff. And this time I just, I need a haircut. I needed a haircut pretty badly <laughs> before all this. And um, I was like, oh, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. It'll be fine, I'll just wait. And now I'm like, regret. And so, you know, we might get desperate and we might cut our own hair. I've done it before. <laughs> pretty successfully so we'll see anyways i'm obviously home from work now it is 20 to 4 i think i'm gonna have some chill time maybe a nap i'm not as tired as i was this morning but i'm still kind of like eh. my breathing is a little off today it was off last night and so i don't know if it's just allergies or something i hope it's just allergies so we're just gonna chill for a bit and drink some more like orange juice drink some more water all that fun stuff and then um hopefully be productive later today in terms of figuring out what story I'm going to work on at minimum and then if I figure that out maybe figuring out a plan of attack for what I need to plan and then what I need to type up and all that fun stuff so yeah anyways I'm good chill I'll see you after <laughs> good morning but like actually good afternoon it is uh 20 to 2 so I didn't like vlog at all yesterday <laughs> after my nap so I took allergy medicine to have my nap because I think that whatever was going on was an allergy thing and um I passed out for like an hour and oh my god trying to wake back up was like dragging myself out of the depths of hell or something it took forever it was a struggle my mom's like you have to eat dinner you gotta take care of your body you gotta feed it so I did. I had dinner and then we watched Jumanji and then I came up and I was up for quite a while and then the coughing was still bad so I took some more allergy medicine because like it was like right here it was like really tight so like allergy like but I had a cough which was weird. Um, but anyway so I passed out around 2 I think which is kind of the usual and then I woke up at 4 and I was like sweating and itchy and like everything sucked and I couldn't take more allergy medicine because it was too recent and so that was a terrible experience for a while fortunately I do have anti-itch cream so I just like I'm like groping around for it in the dark because I'm like I know it's on this shelf beside my bed somewhere and I know what it feels like so it was me at 4 in the morning little slathering my body parts with anti-itch cream and it worked I got back to Sleep. I woke up just before 11 because my mom wanted me and her boyfriend to go down with her be when she went to work to pick up a few things um, and I was like I can't get out of bed <laughs> I was just like well and she said you don't have to come and so I went back to sleep and I slept until about 1 30 all told and I still feel really exhausted I put on eye under eye masks in hopes that that makes a difference but you know this is where we're at the cough is gone which is great so i just have no idea what the i my body is fighting something i just don't know what it is i probably should eat some food here soon that'll probably help things but i've got the window open get some fresh air in here and i'm gonna try to figure out what the heck i'm doing today um <laughs> like with my planning notebooks here and maybe set up an agenda. I think today is Thursday. Oh, it's Wednesday. Sweet. Free day. That was Thursday, which means I was going to go to work on Friday. I'm still going to go to work Friday, I think, but I have two days off now. We'll see how I feel. Like I just, I have no idea what the heck this is. So I don't obviously want to go to work if I'm symptomatic of really anything. So we're going to pay attention to our body and let's do it for the next couple days. I will see what happens, but I need to like make a list. This is my list from like two days ago that I've just like slowly been getting through. Um, so I'm gonna write a new list and then something rather. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for now. But if not, look, here I am. La -da 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 -da. Um, yeah, it's just been a rough couple days. I think like Tuesday was the last day I worked. It is Saturday currently. So a lot of free time, a lot of time to think, 
<laughs> a lot of time to stress. I went outside yesterday for the first time when I wasn't coming to work in like ages. I just went and sat on the beach and I thought it would make things better and it didn't really. Um, so, you know, made bagels the other day too, so that was exciting. It went much better than my first attempt a couple years ago. So I got a new skill. I was, I was craving bagels and um, <laughs> in the current state of not being able to really go out and just be like, oh, I'm really craving X. Um, I just made them and they were good. So what is new? What is new? I mean, I finished my edit on my book. I've sent it off to a bunch of different people and now we're in planning for the next one. I had a story idea that I was going to work on and I think I mentioned it in like the last vlog or something, but it's like got plagues in it and I was like, oh perfect, like free research going on and then I was like, mm, too soon, too soon. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on like a one-off kind of book. I did a lot of planning in the summer like I mentioned and so the last couple days I've been kind of like trying to chip away at other things that I need to plan within that. So today I think I'm going to read all through the planning that I've already done and then kind of go from there. <laughs> I like was reading because I've written this book before not well and it's only like 50 pages so it's not great actually not 50 pages 50,000 words but I've written it before and so I was reading through what I have written and I'm like wow I don't even have like one of the like main secondary characters down to plan kind of key so hopefully hopefully i'll get that all sorted <coughs> i don't know what's happening to my voice but yeah so i'm at the theater today um i was gonna come in yesterday but again because i'm not taking public transit and like the hour situation i if i came in yesterday i would have had to work like an eight hour shift and really i'm almost at my max for the week so you know, it's fun times, it's exciting. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have a breakfast drink. <sighs> and then I'm gonna try to do some work and gain some sense of normalcy. <laughs> oh, it's such a weird place we live in right now. <laughs> I'm feeling better today. I slept all right. That's been the thing is like, I've been going to sleep late for one. And then I couldn't wake up yesterday because in my dreams, I was having a dream that I had woken up and was going about my day and I couldn't get out of the dream. And it's very frustrating when you're like, I know I'm asleep, but am I asleep? But no, I'm definitely asleep and this is a dream and no, I can't wake up. So that's kind of been going on for a couple of days. So like trying to get up at like nine and just being unable to, it's been great. So we're gonna continue that this weekend. We're gonna keep trying to wake up early, at least like not at like 11 and hope that like, it's, this, is, this is life now, so I need to get a routine basically. Even if I'm not going to work on a regular basis, I need to like at least get up at the same time. That's what I've decided. And hopefully it'll make things better. So coming into work today is good. Maybe that'll jumpstart everything. So we will see. Anyways, I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and I'm gonna get started here because I've been rambling for quite a while. But hey, that's how I've been feeling lately. So you know how things have to get worse before they can get better? Well, <laughs> the techs have been working on the stage and it actually looks a lot better now than it did last time I was in but it's like a little bit of a disaster here <laughs> so basically they moved some of these because like the center stage one here was um, not center stage this is where all the wires go for connecting speakers and stuff so it was like shift it and so it confused people. So <laughs> they moved that one. And then they also just kind of made the boxes deeper so that they can fit more stuff in it. They ran extra cords and stuff. And then now it will be pretty when they put the lids back on. But yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's a mess. <laughs> it's just, it's a mess everywhere. <laughs> but it's exciting because like, we're getting stuff done. I'm just about done for today. Um, I just have a couple more things to do and then I can, peace out of here but I want to take a little break because I've been working pretty hard and then just you know <laughs> share what we're doing here while we're closed because you know <laughs> we got we got to get stuff done wow that is the worst lighting ever <laughs> I like I always close doors even if I come in and all the doors are open I close them because I'm like ghosts no <laughs> but anyways turn off some lights now because I don't need them on and get these doors closed and then like I said I just have a couple things left to do and then my timesheet and then I can get out of here which is exciting and then we're going to the grocery store because my grandma needs groceries because she was like sick this week oh let's share this <laughs> so 
she like sent me an email and she was like, oh, just so you know, I went to the emergency room this morning and I'm like, grandma, what? And I guess she was having trouble breathing, uh, which is terrifying at this time. And so she went online and did the self check and she said that she couldn't get past the first question because it told her to call 911. <laughs> and so ambulance came and got her, she went to the hospital. Not a respiratory thing per se, more of like an abdominal thing. And so her doctor called her and was like, do an all liquid diet for a couple days. And so she's like, so what day was it? Tuesday night or Wednesday night? <laughs> Fortunately, because we have a decent amount of food. So like we had chicken broth and I had extra apple juice. And so we raced that off to her house so she wouldn't starve to death. And so today we're actually doing a grocery shop for her. She says she's feeling better, but she's like, I need to eat vegetables and fruit and have a balanced diet. So <laughs> that's what we're doing today. Um, and then we'll probably pick up a few things for us as well if we're there, you know, make it worth it. But yeah, so that is the plan for today. And um, then when I go home, my hope is to be productive because <sighs> it's been a rough couple days and I think I just need to get into a routine, which is why I'm like get back into vlogging because <laughs> then at least you have something to do every day. So the hope is that I will get back to like daily vlogging or at least close to, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish my day and I will check in with you as I can. Alrighty, so I finally made it home. It is 10 after three, so my mom picked me up and we went and we shopped for stuff for my grandma mostly and then a couple things for us because I'm like, if I'm in the store, I might as well buy some things because I won't be going back for like two weeks now. Um, so we got a couple groceries for us and then we stopped at McDonald's on the way because I've been craving McDonald's fries so much and we got some stuff for us and some stuff for my grandma. So we had a nice little distanced <laughs> social visit and um, ate some lunch together and then just got home. We've unpacked mostly everything, like everything's put away except we have to separate some of the meat, but that is, fine and um I need to do some organizing and cleaning in here because we're a bit of a mess but that is okay I'm feeling awake and blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> so we're pretty good I put on a workout shirt my getting dinosaur one that I love that's in hopes that it encourages me to like work out or something we'll see I'm not sure but I'm gonna chill for a bit because like braving the store is a lot although people are really good for like distancing and they've changed their lineup so like so all the cashiers now have plexiglass at the front of them but they can only open every other till because they don't have it behind them <laughs> so they're getting the stuff installed behind now so we have to open all the tills so the tills can go faster and then they just have like <laughs> one single line that goes like all the way down one part of the store and then they have line guardians that be like okay you go down to this till you go down to that till so it went pretty quickly a lady budged in front of us and my mom was like ah and I'm like don't worry about it and she got her karma immediately because we still end up getting through the tills before her so you know whatever anyways so today my plan is to chill a bit wait I have a list chilling is not on the list but that's fine so it is to organize my room a bit, make my bed obviously. I need, to, I was gonna take a marine mammal course, I think I mentioned it, but it got postponed slash cancelled so I just need to email them to let them know that I'm interested in the makeup course in October or if that doesn't work for me then next spring. Um, I want to put away my stockpile over here. <laughs> I just like I, I had to get more face wash and razors oh my goodness I know like I don't need to shave in this time but also I kind of want to shave so I want to put that stuff away like underneath I want to set up my agenda and actually like stick to it <laughs> I still don't really know what like work shifts w look like because I just kind of am working around everybody else um, and I want to go through and I want to read all the work that I've already done on this story and um, see where I'm at from there and then that will help me set up my agenda and then also help me figure out what else I need to write but I think I'm getting there so next week should be focused on handwriting planning out all those DNAs character DNAs place DNAs and then probably the following week typing everything up and then I get get on to planning the actual story which is very exciting so you know we want to make moves today but we're gonna be lazy for a bit and that's okay <sighs> do you see how red I am I just did like 
10 levels of Just Dance 2020 and this is like I played the demo but this is my first time like actually playing it playing it and I've had it since before quarantine like I've probably had it since I think it was I got it on March 13th because I was like I have a feeling I'm gonna be stuck at home for a while um and that was the last day I went to Walmart <laughs> I just know I just know anyway I am disgusting and red now but it was a good workout and I feel better and like it's part of like trying to get on a routine and everything so I can cross that off the list which is very exciting. I'm like really gross and sweaty. I also cleaned my brushes and I got the orange juice put away and the pop I bought today. This girl is getting her life together this week so I have I think I need to add shower to my list now because so I need to send an email shower read what I've worked on here oh yes <laughs> oh yes <laughs> Oh, and um, figure out what else I need to add to that. And then I think we're also going to have a blind channel girls chat where we just touch base because we miss each other. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to do it by phone or if we're just going to do it like chat room on Facebook. But one of the girls just who's out there said she has to go on a charter. So who knows when she will be back. But oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> cool. Okay. So when she gets back, she's just going to message us and then... We will chat. I could probably, if I wanted to, I'm, oh, I changed my strudel picture today. Oh, look at that face. Anyways, I can check to see what charter she's doing so I can estimate how long it'll take her. <sighs> Phillips. Okay, so it's not going to be too long. Probably still, like, that's like 15, 20 minutes away. It's so like 30 minutes. So like maybe 6.30. I don't know. Knowing my luck, I'll be having dinner at the time. Anyways. Basically what I'm saying is I'm feeling a lot better today than I have for like the last week and a bit and I want to set up my agenda today too I think but it's only 20 to 6 so we're doing great but I'm gonna have some like orange juice now because I try to have an orange juice every day I know plastic bad but this way they won't go bad basically because I'll open like a tetra pack and then never drink it um, but anyways so an orange juice a day just to make sure that my vitamin C levels are staying strong and also after working out I feel like my sugar levels are a bit low so I'm gonna do that probably wash my hands because I am just covered with sweat <sighs> maybe even wash my face and then get into reading <laughs> these I think that's probably gonna be the easiest thing to start with oh also very helpful anyways I'm gonna go now but I just want to update that like things are going so well today like the last week was rough it was real rough real rough real real rough <laughs> i am really tired it is just about 10 our girly chat appears to not be happening because strudel's mom needs to sleep which is acceptable um i think i'm gonna jump in the shower now i just finished reading through all of this it's a good start for sure there's still a few things that's more plot wise that i'm uncertain about but i'm hoping that typing all this up will bring me a little bit more clarity on certain things. <laughs> eh, I know it's hard. Um, <laughs> I want to be kind of more open with my storyline and stuff this time around, but we'll see. Anyways, I think I'm gonna jump in the shower and then probably go to sleep. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. Wow, that has been forever since I said that. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.